So I work at Barcelona Sport Computing Center. I'm a researcher there, and my research is about deep learning in high performance computing, which is basically supercomputers. So these are the two most advanced technologies we have right now in the world. And being able to do this kind of research, first of all, being able to do this kind of research is not an easy thing, right? You need the right facilities. And finding an institution that has this kind of facility has been truly life-changing for me because I've been able to publish paper in a very, very high level journal. And it's mostly because you have this kind of facilities at your disposal, right? You can log into the supercomputer and do your work. You can submit your jobs. And this is not just any other supercomputer. It's one of the most advanced supercomputers in Europe. So even just working in such an environment is a great honor by itself. So I'm really, truly, truly privileged for this opportunity. So I chose to come to Barcelona because uh, previously I was doing my master's in Turkey and my supervisor did her PhD here in Barcelona. So uh, she advised me quite a lot on choosing this uh, university and coming here. My PhD advisors have been phenomenal, right? Um, you know, doing a PhD is not an easy thing and you need all the support you can find. And it's not just, um, it's not just academic support, right? You need a lot of support, like in terms of emotional support and just someone you can trust and work with and you know that they understand you really well. And that's one of the things I've really gotten here. So my supervisors were very nice to me. They were very great with me. They're really, really hardworking people. But apart from being really hardworking people, they're also really, really helpful people, right? The qualities that I see in my professors, the behavior, the way they do things, is something that you know lives deep with me because at the end of the day, I also want to be a professor. And I have in my head an idea of what kind of professor I want to be, right? So all these lessons combined have shaped a lot and continue to shape the kind of person I want to be when I start uh, working as a professor or start teaching in a different university. First of all, the, my education has been very, very high standard, right? Everywhere I go, the prestige of the university precedes me. And this opens a lot of opportunities, you know. Um, sometimes it's this kind of opportunities that you need. But apart from that, the technical know-how, the technical knowledge that you gain is really, really on a high level. I work in one of the uh, most advanced research institutes in Europe uh, here. So this kind of facilities and their technical know-how to use these facilities is what I take, uh, I take with me when I go back to my country. It's really, really balanced, right? So normally when you're doing a PhD, you work so much and forget to live, right? But what I've loved about this place is that I was able to find a, a balance between these two, working really hard and at the same time, having some time to live my life, you know, enjoy my life, go out, talk to people, hang out, go to the beach. Over the last uh, four years, I've learned how to balance my life, you know, between uh, working really hard and also trying to have fun once in a while. It's challenging, one, for sure, but of course, the professors and the advisors make it possible. And two, it's really encouraging, right? You kind of want to push yourself more. You always want to push yourself more because you're working with very, very, very smart people, some of the best people in their fields. It's evolving, it's coming up really, really fast. And for this reason, I feel like having gained this kind of expertise, it's, it's exactly the right moment to, to go back, to, to plug into this uh, ecosystem and continue working there. Oof, quite a lot of things, you know. I don't know, I don't know where to start. I mean, um, I had a good time. I had a really, really good time. Um, I'm about two months away from graduating. And in the last four years, you know, I've not just studied here, you know, I've traveled Catalonia. I love hiking a lot. So in the weekends, I go to so many trips around for hiking. And it has been quite an incredible experience, honestly. Definitely, definitely. It really met my, ex it exceeded my expectations, you know. 